This is part 26 of WCF video series. In this video, we'll discuss what is a Windows Server and how do they differ from regular applications and programs, how to view all the Windows services installed on a Windows machine, what is the use of Windows services, and when would an ASP.NET developer use a Windows service. So, what is a Windows service and how do they differ from regular applications and programs? A Windows service is similar to any other program or an application running on a Windows machine. These are some of the differences between a Windows service and a regular application. Windows services run in the background. They can be configured to start automatically when the system starts and they don't have any sort of user interface. For example, if you look at this calculator application this has got a user interface you know we can click on these buttons and perform some calculations but if you look at a Windows service it doesn't have any sort of user interface and they always run in the background and the Windows services can also be configured to start automatically when the system boots up okay so the next question is how do we actually view all the Windows services that are installed on my computer you know that's very simple all you need to do is click on start type run and then press enter so that should bring up the run window within run window type services.msc and click OK so this should open up the services window which is going to list all the Windows services that are basically installed on this computer okay now what is the use of these Windows services you know, these Windows services provide core operating system features such as, for example, event logging, providing security, error reporting. And these are the respective Windows services which provide these features. So there should be Windows event log service which provides event logging. So if you look at the services here, so notice that we have Windows event log, Windows Firewall service which is going to provide the internet security and we have Windows error reporting service which is basically going to report errors okay and there are several other services as well which provides you know different features that are required for the operating system and most of these services are installed by Microsoft now sometimes when we download and install a third party software even you know those software may install some services automatically and the services may provide the features that are required by the application that you are installing okay so basically these windows services they run in the background you know they don't have any sort of user interface and they can be configured to start automatically so how do we configure these windows services to start automatically you know let's say for example we want this windows firewall service to start automatically all we need to do is right click on that get to the properties window and on the general tab look at the startup type for this windows firewall service the startup type is set to automatic so when the system boots up you know this service is going to be started automatically on system you know boot up so if you look at the status here look at this windows firewall is already started because the startup type is automatic on the other hand if we choose the startup type as manual you know the service will not be started automatically we have to manually start the service for example if you look at this windows card space service the startup type is manual so this is not going to be started up automatically when the system starts we need to right click on that and select this option start okay similarly if you want to stop the service right click on the service and then select stop from the context menu in fact you can also specify you know what is the security identity under which you want to you know basically execute this particular service you you want to start the service if you look at this service here windows event log it's using local service user account and then you can also specify what you want this service to do on failure you know if the if the service fails to start what you want to do do you want to restart the service run a different program or restart the computer itself or you don't want to take uh, any action and that's the default option okay so these are the windows services now the obvious next question is when would a dotnet developer or an asp.net developer use a windows service in general we should create a windows service to run code in the background all the time without any sort of user interaction so obviously when we set you know the startup type 
for a Windows service as automatic, you know, when we boot up the computer, the service is going to start automatically even without a user actually logging on to that machine. On Windows Startup, the service is going to start automatically. So if at all if there is a need for you, you know, to execute code in the background all the time without any sort of user inter intervention, that's when we actually create a Windows service. Okay, so for example, what we can do is we can create a Windows service to host a WCF service. And then we can configure the Windows service to start automatically when the computer starts. So this is going to make our WCF service always available for clients to consume, even if no one is logged on on that computer. In our next video, we'll discuss creating a Windows service to host a WCF service. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.